Hey guys, Sonny Carter here and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to go over exactly what happens when someone feels that feeling of they're going to lose a partner or lose a spouse. In other words, like that partner is going to leave them. Um, some people in the relationship have like serious anxiety and fear of being left alone or being left. Um, and this can come from um, different different experiences in, in people's childhood. Like for example, if a parent is divorced um, or maybe their um, uh, parents um, died at an early, when they were early age, um, that can also cause feelings of abandonment. And you can have these familiar feelings of abandonment when you get older, um, it starts to manifest itself. Um, so for example, if your spouse is going on a business trip, um, that's maybe a you know, going away for maybe a couple of days to a week, um, that person who suffers from the abandonment message, core message, could feel anxiety or fear or depression or sadness um, because that core message in the back of the mind, which is basically telling them that the people that they love will eventually leave them and that people they, they care about um, cannot be counted on. And so this is the core message that's kind of running in the back of people's mind that's causing people to have these emotional feelings of sadness, of depression, of anxiety, of fear, um, which causes them to act out and behave in certain ways that affects their relationship. So if someone who's trying to cope with this message of abandonment, um, if they surrender to this message, they can get, again, um, very sad or depressed or they can give in to this core message that they're going to be left alone at some point. And so they start to feel very insecure. Um, they will need lots of reassurance um, that their spouse loves them um, uh, more than more than normal assurance. Uh, they would um, need to be overly assured that they're, gonna, that they're loved and they're not gonna be left um, and that they're cared for. Um, some people will cope with this with being um, too aggressive. So if they're um, counter-attacking this message of, the, of, of going to be left, they would basically overcompensate. So they would uh, be very clingy or they would um, make sure that this person is never gonna leave them. So they would um, want to know, be very controlling and want to know everywhere about their whereabouts. Um, they would, um, you know, start to say things like, uh, like early in the relationship, like if someone was going out and they were not married, they would say like, you know, maybe like the first week of their relationship, they, they would say things like, I love you and we'll be together forever. And they'll just say these things to overcompensate to make sure that they're not going to be left, which in fact can do the opposite. It can turn people away from them, which then reaffirms that core message that they're going to be left. And then it becomes a cycle. Um, and that's, that continues to, to happen and then they continue to go through these various relationships. Um, another way that someone can overcompensate, overcompensate for this is to avoid this core message of feeling abandoned. And so they would do whatever it takes at all costs to avoid this feeling that they're going to be left alone, that, that people that they love and care for um, cannot be counted on. And so they don't want to experience this emotion that they felt when they were children. Um, and so what they do is they can typically, a, pers a person who avoids this type of um, core message would avoid getting close to someone. They have a hard time letting people into their hearts. Um, they, would, um, they would be reluctant to have emotional intimacy with someone. Um, they would fear um, being very close. They would fear of being in the relationship. Um, so even though they're married and in a relationship physically, they would have reservations about initiating a closeness with the relationship because they're trying to avoid the feeling of ever being abandoned so that if someone ever did leave them, um, they would protect themselves and wouldn't feel hurt or wouldn't feel um, that familiar feeling of tears when they, when they were children, when someone left them or a parent got divorced or someone died. Um, this feeling of abandonment can also come if a particular person was left for long periods of time without their parents. Um, maybe their parents had to go um, to the military and left for years and, never, and didn't come back for a long time and they had to stay with their grandparents. Um, maybe there were financial difficulties and the parent had to go to take care of some financial uh, circumstances and issues to get themselves back on, on their feet and they had to stay with someone for a long time or maybe hop back and forth to different people. Um, and so these are all things, um, you know, adoption can also, without a doubt, bring feelings of abandonment. Even if someone is adopted by the most nourishing, loving families, um, abandonment can still have, can still manifest itself 
when that person who was adopted goes up and gets older. Um, uh, another example is um, if maybe your parents were giving more attention to a sibling because they have special needs or because they favor that sibling more than you. And all these scenarios can bring about these feelings of abandonment, which can manifest itself as adults. Um, it can cause us to act out in ways that I just mentioned previously and to have um, familiar emotions, which bring up insecurities and fears and anxiety, um, which can cause us to act out. So the key here, um, the key, the focus of change here is to really understand, um, number one, the emotions behind when you feel abandoned or when you tend to feel that fear or anxiety of someone leaving you, um, is to increase that emotional intelligence and awareness, become more conscious of what you're feeling, and then also identify where that feeling came from. Um, not staying in your past, but identifying what happened in your past and connecting that with the emotions that you feel so that um, you can be more in touch with your emotions and feelings and so that um, you cannot give in to coping um, a certain way that could be harmful to your relationship and you can be more reactive, um, proactive instead of reactive to those, to that core message of abandonment and that feeling that you get of being left um, or eventually not being loved or, or you know, not um, someone not there for you, not being there for you. So um, so I hope that helps somewhat. I hope that was very helpful. Um, if it was, you may comment below, let me know. Um, I'm going to be putting out more videos like this to deal with this issue. Um, that's going to be helpful um, and engaging. So feel free to subscribe, hit that alert button so you get notified next time next time i come out with a video because these are the shifts and thinking these are the changes these these are the uh, awareness that we have can really change the trajectory of our entire lives for the better uh, can not only improve our relationships it can improve our parenting it can prevent us from um, passing on this core message to our children in different ways um, that we may not even realize it can affect how we are interact with friendships and relationships and so it's important that we um, kind of increase our awareness, like I said, and emotional intelligence to these core messages that's driving our behavior because it will radically change our lives. It'll give us more inner peace, more happiness. It'll help us be more fulfilled, more content. Um, it'll help us um, to take control of our lives and to literally uh, reinvent our lives so we can uh, maintain our happiness and fulfillment and peace and not let these core messages plague our lives and cause us to behave in certain ways that's harmful to ourselves and others because at the end of the day these core messages is 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 a false perception um you know feelings of abandonment it's it's the feelings may come from the past but the messages that it brings um it's false it's a false reality that we think is going to be real and because we think it's going to be real we manifest these realities um because of the way we act out and behave and so um so again if you get any value from this shoot me a comment let me know if you struggle with this or know someone who does or you, you need some more tips, um, feel free to leave me a comment below. Um, again, this is not a substitution for um, counseling or therapy, but if you need counseling therapy, we definitely recommend go seeking it. But this is just a video to help you um, to understand it a little bit better and to see if this is something you have in your life. Um, and again, I'll be putting out more videos to help with this topic as well. So I uh, appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care for now. Bye.